Let's be honest, math anxiety is real. I've worked with a lot of students that just the thought of knowing that they had a math test or a math class or seeing me as their math teacher immediately made their heart race start going really, really fast and then start to tense up. And we know if you're trying to take a test and you're trying to focus and do the absolute best that you can do, being anxious and stressed out is not very good recipe for success. So at the time of this video, it is upon exam season. And I know a lot of students deal with math anxiety. And the reality is, ladies and gentlemen, we all deal with anxiety in any walk of life. So the difference or what we need to focus on is understanding why anxiety is happening and what we can do to deal with it. So the first thing that I always tell students when they're taking a test and maybe they're working on a problem and it gets a little hard for them, and then anxiety starts to creep up. And they're like, oh no, I'm gonna fail this test or I'm gonna get this problem wrong. And then they start thinking about, oh no, if I don't get a good grade here, I'm not gonna get a good grade in the class or I'm not gonna pass. I'm not gonna get this scholarship or go to this college. And their brains just starts racing. The heart starts pumping. First thing that I want you to do is to stop, close your eyes and start breathing. Breathe big, deep breaths in through your nose out through your mouth. We need to be able to calm ourselves down. Get that heart rate under control. Because the thing is, ladies and gentlemen, we cannot focus on the right things or work in an optimal level when we have that anxiety is taking over our body. So calm your heart rate down, take in those deep breaths, and then the next thing we want to do is focus on the right things. Because the problem with anxiety is it's allowing us to focus on things that we cannot control. And ladies and gentlemen, if we're constantly thinking about things that we cannot control, it's going to drive us crazy. And you might be thinking, yes, I literally go crazy focusing on things that I cannot control. So what we need to do is focus on the things we can control. Focus on the things that we can do. And don't worry about all the other outcomes that could happen. It's a reality. There could be some good results, and there could be some very bad results, but I need you just to focus on what you can do and not only focus on what you can do, but create a game plan for action because the next step that we need to do is take action on that game plan. Now, I understand if you're in the middle of taking a test or maybe even watching this video before your test, this might not be exactly applicable. But one thing that I have done and what has worked so well for me, when I get very anxious, when I start being concerned about things that are going on in my life that I cannot control, and I start thinking about what I need to do, I immediately stop, I control my body, get my breathing under control, and then I go for a walk. I get moving. I go ahead and identify the things that I can do and I immediately take action because taking action is the counter action of anxiety. If you are sitting on your couch or you're taking a test and you're immediately just let your brain continuously bombard you with all these horrible outcomes and all these things that you cannot control, you will make yourself go crazy. So please understand it's normal. It's not anything wrong with you. All you simply need to do is learn how to control it. And those things come with first taking control of your body and your brain, two, focusing on the right things and creating a game plan, and three, taking action on the things that you can control. Because the thing I want you to know about anxiety is understanding the bigger picture. Anxiety is focused on the short term, things that you cannot control. But if we take a step back and we understand the bigger picture, we realize that there's no test, there's no teacher, there's no quiz, there's no problem, there's no course that is going to define who we are or what you are capable of. I hope this video is hitting you at the right time to help you with your math anxiety. Understand you are not alone and I wish you all the best. Cheers.